Hey, Divine Ones. Y'all come on in, chat with me. Chat with me for a minute. Over here on Instagram. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Y'all hang on one second. Okay. Hey, y'all come on. Come on. Come on in. Come on in. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yes, yes. Y'all come on in here. Come on in here. Now, I want to uh, talk about, I want to talk on a message a little bit for a few minutes, and then I'm going to let y'all go. I'm trying to make this real quick. Um, But, you know, just God just been giving me a lot of, a lot of messages for women. A lot. He just been really dealing with me about the queens, really dealing with me about the women. And I'm going to tell y'all, you know, just doing the live that I did last night, late last night about, um, you know, what I was saying about women. It just really got me to thinking. And God, like I said, God just been releasing a lot of other stuff in my spirit about that, too. And another thing that I want to say to my queens, I love y'all so much. I do. And another thing that I want to say is, you know, as women, we got to stop. We got to stop walking in that victim mentality we got to stop walking in that way we we are bad at that too we are bad at that too and the reason why i'm kind of going in you know lately with women is because god is elevating us y'all y'all if y'all been following me on youtube and stuff y'all been hearing me talk about that god is taking us into a new level god is elevating us he's taking us higher and i want to tell you with new levels comes new responsibility comes responsibility so as god elevates you to much is given much is required so the more god gives to you the more he takes you higher the more he elevates you the more he's going to require from you and like i say god is not an unreasonable god he's not an unreasonable god he's not going to require something from you that you don't have he's not going to require something from you that you're not able to deliver he's requiring it because he knows it's in you he know it's there. He know it's there. And I'm just a mouthpiece. I'm, I'm, I am I'm. just told God, you know what? Use me. I speak whatever you want me to speak. And you know what? For this time right here, this is what he's telling me to speak. As women, we got to stop doing this. We got to stop playing. We got to stop. I'm not going to say playing the victim because you, because you, you truly have been victimized. Like you, you truly have become a victim at the hands of somebody else but what i'm saying is how long are you going to walk in that identity how long are we going to keep talking about what our ex-husband did how long are we going to keep talking about what the narcissist did how long are we going to keep allowing that to be our identity why would you allow that to be why would you allow that to consume so much of your energy and your spirit and your creativity when you have so much more to you 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 have so much more to you it's so many layers in you that have not been peeled back yet and we'll just we'll walk in that role as a victim because i know when i was doing it it was easier for me to be the victim it's easier to be the victim because you can sit in your mess and you can sit where you at and you can point the finger and you can say he did this to me. He did that to me. He hurt me. He lied to me. He betrayed me. But, um, okay, he did do all of that. He did. But what happened when he did that the first time? What happened when he did that? What happened when his actions were leading up to that? Why was, why was that flying with you? Why was that getting by with you? Why were you okay with that? And, and then we, we show him that we are okay with it by what we do, not by what we say. Because y'all, I done, I done been married. I, I, I know. I know. I know. Ain't no amateur with this. I know. Uh-uh. We, we, we be talking and we be talking and we be talking and it's like, I'm tired. You ain't tired. No, you not. Stop lying. You ain't tired. Cause let me tell you something. When you tired, <laughs> baby, when you tired, 
you ain't going to be doing all that talking. Do you understand me? When you tired, it ain't going to be no more talking. It's going to be walking because you're going to be gone. And, and what everybody thought you wasn't going to do, you're going to start doing it. You're going to start doing it, baby. Because my own mama told me, she was like, I heard you say stuff for years. I heard you say, you know, you through, you finished, you done, you tired. But she was like, when you when you really made up your mind that you was tired, that you were done, she was like, you ain't say nothing. You ain't say nothing. I looked up and it was done. And that's the way it's going to be, baby. When you, as a woman, when you are truly tired, when you truly tired, it ain't going to be no talking. If you still talking, you still got some fight in you. You still got some left. You still, you still got, you, you still want to cry a little bit more. You still want to fight a little bit more. You still want to, you know, go back and forth with that other woman a little bit more. But once your soul is tired, once you tired, I don't care how much you done put into a relationship. I don't care how much you done invested into a marriage. I don't care how many children you got. I don't care if you got a whole football team. When you tired, you finna go. You and your football team, you gonna pack up and y'all gonna go. And it ain't going to be nothing nobody can say about it because you done, you done fought and fought and fought and fought. And y'all know as women, we don't just up and leave. We don't just get up and go. We don't just get up and go because the majority of women, when we love, we love hard. We love for real. We invest a lot into that love. So you don't want to, you, you want to make good on your investment. You don't want to miss out on everything that you done invested in. You want to see a return on what you've been investing in. And I understand that. I understand it's hard to not talk about that. Even when you get free from it and you move on, it's hard to not reflect on that. It's hard to not think about that. It's hard to not let that be the topic of your conversations. But you got to release that victim mentality. You got to. You got to accept your responsibility in the matter. And you got to keep on going. You got to find your purpose. See, it's going to take purpose, y'all. Queens, y'all listen to me. It's going to take purpose. In order for you to move beyond that situation, that situation that left you as the victim, in order for you to move beyond that, you're going to have to have your purpose. Your purpose is the only thing that's strong enough to keep you going. It's the only thing that's strong enough to pull you out of your past. It's like a tow truck that God sent. That just come in and pick you up and tow you out of your past. And it drives you into your future. Because the past is strong. It's strong. A lot of women can't break free from that. A lot of women, they still, they, they so broken. They so hurt over what that man did. And he just took them through the ringer, baby. And it was just horrible. It was just bad. Then they left with children. They got to take care of the children on their own. Because a lot of times... He not only divorced you, but he divorced the children too. Y'all know I'm telling y'all the truth. And you got to, you got to get up and, and do this and do that. And I know it's easy for us to, to walk in that victim mentality and point the finger. But I'm telling y'all, we, we, got, we got to come out of it. We got to stop being the victim. When we continue to live as the victim, we give our power away. We give our power away. You are no longer victims, but you are victors. In Christ because of who God is and because who because of what Jesus did for you and because of the power that he gave to you you no longer have to be the victim you no longer have to walk in that identity you could rise above that today it's your choice it's your choice but that victim role that victim mentality is it's got to go it, it's got to go that's one that's another thing that God began to deal with me about today it's got to go it's got to go. It's got to go. We can we can no longer keep walking in that. We can no longer. And let me let me um, you know, kind of clarify a little bit about what I was talking about last night when I was talking about the game that there's a game being played. A lot of people hear that word. You hear the word game, and you like, I, I know, I know how we think as women. I already know when you hear game because I used to be like that. I'm like game. Child, I'm too old for that. I ain't got time to be playing no games. <laughs> default these men need to get it together who, who who got time to learn about a game baby i ain't got time to be um trying to learn about no game play no game i'm 33 years old i'm too old for that I ain't got time to be playing no game see it's not that type of game that you're thinking it's just the rules of engagement you got to learn the rules of engagement you can't come out here thinking that 
these men think like you think. And they care like you care. And they got the same. See, that's how I ended up getting messed up a lot of times. Because I thought I expected me from other people, basically. Basically. Y'all ain't got to say nothing. But how many of y'all been like that? You came out here like that. You came out here like that. Uh huh. You expected you from other people. You thought because you worked on yourself or, you know, whatever you did, you, you equated that. You let that be the equivalent to what you thought about other people. But you quickly learned. You quickly learned that you cannot expect you from other people. You cannot expect you as a woman from a man. You cannot expect that from him. Because like I was saying about my, my daughter, she's about to be nine, and my son who is ten. They very close in age. They very close in age. And, and, and they are alike in a lot of ways. But she's still a woman. She is a young woman. She is a female. He is a young man. He is a male. And God dealing with me and showing me things right there about my two oldest children. God been showing me stuff. I'm looking at them in a whole nother way now. I'm looking at them in a whole nother way because what God is showing me, like what, what it is with them right now, even with a nine-year-old and a 10-year-old, he said, don't nothing, nothing too much really changes with that dynamic. It stay the same. They just get older. They just get older. But don't nothing too much really change with that because it's it's the anatomy, it's the it's the the way they biologically program, just the way they are as a man, as a young man, and the way she is as a young woman. They different. They different. And that's what I mean when I say know the game. Even when I look at my children, I'm I'm seeing the game. But I'm not talking about like the proverbial game. I'm not talking about like the, the a, a game like oh why we got to play games and all that type of stuff. No, I'm I'm talking about the rules of engagement. You got to know that. You got to know that. You got to know what's what because you can't get mad because you were play if, if I sit down and start playing a game with you, I know the game. I know how to play and you don't and you keep losing. You and you keep getting mad at me. Because I keep winning, you keep losing. What you need to do? You need to go learn that game. You need to go learn the rules. You go learn the rules, you come by. We, gonna, we can play a whole nother type of game. Do you understand me? It's a whole nother type of game then, baby. But it's not a game as in the bad. The bad, like, I ain't got time to be playing no game. Man, two can play that game. Y'all know, I done, we done seen the movie with Vivica A. Fox, baby, Morris Chestnut. Two can play that game. I ain't talking about that type of game. Okay, <laughs> it's about that type of game. I'm just talking about knowing the rules of life, knowing that, you know, men are biologically different from women. We are biologically different from men. We are not the same. So you can't come out here expecting you from them because you're not going to get it. You're going to get burned. You're going to get towed out the frame. You're going to get messed up. You're going to come by it with your heart in a hand basket, baby. You're going to be messed up. You cannot expect you from other people. And then when you don't get you from other people, then you become the victim and you walk in that. You walk, how long do you walk in that? See, I made up my mind that yes, I got yes, I got divorced. Yes, I got divorced in uh 2017. And that was what? 4 years ago. And I could have allowed that to be my identity. I could have walked. I could have just kept walking around saying, "Oh, you know, I'm divorced and I'm this and that," and and kept talking about how everything went down and how that. But there's so much more to me. So why would I walk in that identity? That was only one part of my life. That was just one little chapter. And that's what I want to say to you, queens, women. Okay, you had a bad breakup. Okay, you know, you you went through what you went through. I can't say everything, y'all, because I'm putting this on YouTube and they'll, yeah, yeah. My content creators, y'all know what I'm talking about. Got to be careful what kind of words you be dropping, okay? But y'all know what I'm talking about. You know, you done went through all of this stuff as a child. You know, you done went through all of that. How long are you going to walk in that? How long are you going to walk in that? You can make up in your mind today that that's not going to be your identity. You, you, as humans... As human beings, we got a pot. We have a powerful 
uh, gift of creating. We, we can create. We can be whatever we want to be. We can change up at any point in time. We the only creature walking this earth that can do that. A dog can't be nothing but a dog. A cat can't be nothing but a cat. I don't care if they get tired of being a cat and they want to be something else. They cannot be nothing but a cat. But you are God's highest form of creation. You can be whatever you want to be. You can make up your mind today that you no longer want to be the, the battered woman. You no longer want to be the divorcee. You no longer want to carry that identity. You can change your identity and you can become somebody else. I did it. And you can do it. Just as surely as we accept the role of a victim and we walk in that role of the victim. And y'all know, y'all know them type of women. Boy, you could be at the gas station. You could be in Walmart. You could be anywhere. And she be, she'll just go to telling you, just go to telling you, baby, about her situation and about what she got going on. And that's it. Let me tell y'all, now ain't nothing wrong with venting. It's all right to vent. Sometimes you got to get it out. But see, being a life coach and knowing the importance of coaching and the difference and the change that coaching can make in your life as a queen, just like you invest in your health, just like you invest in, in you know, whatever it is you like to look nice, your clothes, your shoes, your makeup, your earrings, your, you know, your jewelry and stuff. Uh, just like you invest in all of that stuff, invest in coaching, get coaching, get a life coach. And if you, if you want to vent, if you, you know, you need that moment where you need to be vulnerable, you need that moment where you need to be weak, do that in a, a safe environment. Do that with a professional, do that with a coach, do that with a counselor, do that with a therapist. Do not get on social media and write a book on your profile. And then three months later, you wondering why you with a grown boy that's taking you through the ringer, just doing all this and doing all that because it's what you putting out. It's what you putting out. And and then as women, like I said, we got to stop doing this victim stuff. I used to do, I used to be so bad at this. Oh God, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for delivering me. Oh, y'all just don't know, boy. I, ooh, I look at some of these memories on Facebook. I, I just break out in a praise. I said, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for delivering me. I was so ignorant. Y'all know how you just you just slap your own self sometimes. You like, oh Jesus, thank you, God. Cause I was I, I was out of my mind. What was I thinking? We go to post and stuff. We we tell all our business. We tell all our business. And some of my queens, you still doing this. And I hope you listening to this message. Please stop. Stop, stop posting the memes. Stop, stop posting the indirects. Stop posting all this stuff and stop telling that lie. Talk about what I'm posting on my page ain't got nothing to do with it. Yes, it do. Yes, it do. Because what you posting on your page is a reflection of your mind. When people say that, they don't understand the mind. See, that's why I say you got to get the knowledge. Get the knowledge. Because when we don't get the knowledge, we look foolish. We say foolish stuff. See, once you understand your mind, I teach this. I coach on this. Look it up. And the more you do your research on it, you're going to understand. And this ain't just in, in science. This is in the word of God. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Whatever is in your subconscious mind is going to come out in some type of way. Whether it be on a post, whether it come out of your mouth, whether it be on a meme. And we'll think we being... You know, just passive and we just being, you know, just posting random stuff. No, 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 no. Ain't no, ain't no coincidences, baby. Because you know what? If that was not a part of you, you wouldn't even be thinking about stuff like that to even share that, to even post that. You'll be on something completely different. It's going to sting a little bit, but it's going to be good for you. It's going to be good for you now. It's going to sting a little bit, but it's going to be good for you. Because if your mind went on that type of stuff, you if you're not... See, if you're not vibrating on that level, on that frequency, that's not even going to be in your thoughts. You're not even going to be posting nothing like that. I look at my posts now. I look at the stuff I talk about now. It's completely different from what I talked about five years ago because my mind is on another frequency now. I don't, I'm, I don't, I don't No, and, and, and I'm, and I'm still human. I'm still human. I'm a woman. I got feelings. I hurt. I cry. I vent, but I do that in the right environment. 
I don't let the enemy know what's going on with me. And that's what we got to understand as queens. You are a woman. Of course, you're going to be emotional. Of course, you're going to vent. But you got to know how to do that in the right environment. That ain't for everybody. That ain't for everybody. That's why we end up being a victim a lot. Because we being vulnerable in the wrong environments. We, we letting out our feelings in the wrong environment because we expecting us from other people. We thinking that we care. We'll care if somebody say something like that. So you thinking that they'll care if you say something like that. No, they're not going to care. You alerting the wolves. You letting the wolves know I'm out here. Come get me. I'm raw. I'm bleeding. I'm out here. All the sharks, they, they, they smell the blood and they coming. They coming, and they coming to wreak havoc on you. They ain't going to have no mercy on you. And then we go to bad-mouthing the men, talking about the men. What you expect? What you expect? You bleed out here, and you expect a shark to just go right by that blood and act like he don't smell it? He smell blood. He coming. He coming. So when you posting the memes, when you posting the indirects, when, you know, you you if somebody hurt your feelings... If somebody, this is so important, y'all. This is so important. If somebody hurt your feelings, if somebody call you out your name, if somebody say, you know, just, just anything to y'all know how we get just kind of offended a little bit. Do not run to social media with that. Do not run. Do you have somebody that you can trust? Do you have somebody that you can call? Call your life coach. Book a session with a coach. Or a friend that you could trust. And you know what, as you, as you, and I'm not trying to push coaching on y'all. I'm just saying, as you, as you elevate and as you grow, you're going to find out that the people that you call friends, you ain't going to be able to talk to them. Come on, somebody. You ain't going to be able to talk to them because if they not growing on the level that you growing, you ain't going to be able to vent to them like you used to vent to them. So that's why I say you're going to have to have a professional. You're going to have to have somebody else. You got to start surrounding yourself with greatness to much is given, much is required. See, we praying for something that we are not ready for. You got to, you got to get ready for it, baby. You got to get ready for it. This elevation coming and you got to get ready for it. God taking you higher. So he's going to require more from you. God like, look, I know that man did you wrong. I know he ain't have to do you like that, but I'm going to need you to move beyond that. Cause I got some more stuff I'm trying to get you, baby. I got some big things for you. I know you can't stand that woman. I know you, you, you want to clothes line on. I know you want to snatch that wig off. I know you want to do this, do that. I know you can't stand her, but God like, look, I need you to forgive her and I need you to pray for her. I need you to move beyond that. Cause I'm going to get ready to send you out in front of all kind of folk and you're going to meet that woman again. You're going to meet somebody else that's just like her and I need you to be able to love these folks because you finna be doing business with all kind of folk. You finna be going all kind of places. This is what God telling y'all he got for y'all queens. God finna elevate you. God finna do the impossible for you and you don't want to mess that up because you still holding on to one little wound. Heal. Heal so God can bless you. Heal so God can elevate you. You are no longer a victim. I love y'all. I love y'all so much. I am Latoya O'Keele. Make sure y'all click the link in uh, my bio and in the description for my aspiring life coaches. I train and I certify men and women to become life coaches. So if y'all are interested in becoming a coach, now, like I was saying, you can get coaching. Um, now, a life coach, basically, plain and simple, is just a motivational friend. It's a motivational friend, somebody that can hold you accountable, somebody that can help you set goals, and somebody that's going to hold you accountable to those goals. Like a personal support system, like your personal cheerleader, somebody that's going to amp you up, baby. Somebody that's going to hype, hype you up, baby. They're going to hype you up. They're going to let you know about all this greatness that you got on the inside of you, and it ain't going to be no fake stuff. It's going to be real. It's going to be real. It's going to be real. A life coach... A good life coach will help you see stuff in your own self that you couldn't see by yourself. It's some things that God trying to get out of you that you can't you can't see it because you're so familiar with yourself and, and how you talk. So sometimes it takes somebody else that's been trained. That's what I do. I train certified people to do that. It takes somebody else that's been trained to listen and ask the right questions to pull that information out of you to help you see what's really in you. To help you see that you got the power to overcome. You got the power to no longer be the victim no more. Okay? 
So if that's you now, if, if you've been that person, you find yourself being the go-to person, people been coming to you, baby, you a life coach, okay? And I need you to click that link in my bio, and I need you to take this free life coaching masterclass. It's absolutely free. I'm going to give you the basics of how to start up your coaching business, okay? So y'all take that free masterclass. I love y'all so much. I am Latoya O'Kill. If y'all ain't subscribed to me on YouTube, make sure you go to my YouTube channel, Latoya O'Kill. And subscribe. If you ain't following me here on Instagram, make sure you follow me, okay? Y'all have a blessed Saturday.